Blog Talk Radio. We welcome the night. Injury and 
that news last week. I just kind of like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not feeling it because, like, it's the unholy. It's not really something we're going to look back on anytime soon. You know, just a film, like, directly out of 2003. <laughs> it's just how it managed to make it to 2021, I will not know. But it's directly <laughs> something from that time period. Um, I did watch it. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's it's nothing really to write home about. And a full 45-minute show about it just didn't seem fitting. Um, I, I say that and we have tonight's film. Um, but it's different for tonight's film. Um, as mentioned, um, it's a Boneyard review. And we usually, again, I pick these just because, like, they're, you know, they're obscure films unheard of, scarce, especially this one, um, when I found it on eBay in a lot of uh, common titles, which has happened numerous times before, but um, I just saw the title, like, what is Dead Flesh? And then I looked on it and, you know, found some more info, and of course it's a zombie film, and uh, me being the zombie connoisseur, I had to get it, and, um, you know, right. try to sell some of the other stuff. Sell some of the other stuff, kind of break a little even, because there is, it was a little pricey just to get this, and maybe like seven out of the lot. Um, but they all equaled like two bucks each, even if I had some of them. It's just like, eh, two bucks, whatever. Um, but Dead Flesh is our film. Um, I'm sorry if I sound down. I've been out all day. It's been a long day and just relaxing, and my foot's sore. So it's, it's going to be one of those reviews. So I apologize in advance if I'm not really into my. Uh, usual self um because like i did all that and then i came home and i had to watch dead flesh and uh, that kind of just <laughs> didn't really <laughs> make me feel that good um but dead flesh it's it's an interesting film i don't want to talk down bad about the film because this is one of those films that again we're lucky to see this in because it's like one of those films it's like again very few i would believe, believe. um it's from 2001 this DVD is from 2002, um, and that's it. <laughs> um, there's no mention of this anywhere. Um, there's there's an IMDb page with like maybe three reviews. Two of the reviews are pull quotes. It's on the front of the DVD box. So there's like one actual yeah. review um, on IMDb. And this film, like again, it's from Scott Miles. And there's two commentary tracks on here, like if I really want to go back and listen to two commentary tracks. Um, and the, the the plot of this film, honestly, usually when we do these Boneyard reviews, we go scene by scene by scene from beginning to end. Usually that's how we did them. Um, or we just talk about things here and there. This one is going to be rather difficult because there's not much to really gain um, because it's a pretty – basic movie um and i hate to say that because again we don't we don't see these we we you know i make the point like okay this seems enough you know obscure enough for a boneyard film and uh it wasn't my initial choice i had an another one but um uh, that 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 was unavailable to to upload um or provide ian a copy to view so yeah. I just went with this, and again, there's way many more. But I just like I've been I wanted to see this since I bought it, and that's the reason we, we're doing this review. And again, I'm rather selfish in myself, but again, I, I do like to find stuff like this. It's always you know my main thing. Ian. it's always you know you know that the most obscure stuff I want to share and try to get eyes out there. And that's what the whole point of the Boneyard uh, reviews are is to get more eyes on the product and. In a way, again, I, I kind of want people to see it because it is, you know, a zombie film, and I'm always in, into those, you know, for people to see them. But then again, this is one of those that, again, it's early in its infancy of, like, 2001, I guess, you know, 2000-ish when it was shot, and uh, might as well get into the point of the film. Uh, we have Ben. He's a high schooler. He has two friends. One has... Uh, braces wrapped around her face and the other one is just you know his, his dude friend and they're nerds they like horror movies and he gets attacked uh by the jock football player because he saw some of his uh drawings 
uh, anime, you know, comic style magna drawings. Um, and he, the football player punches Ben in the stomach. He Ben goes to the nurse's office. Uh, he gets detention for not doing anything um, because, again, football player, jock, uh, he's on the football team, and uh, he, he's not supposed to get in trouble. So the principal gives him detention for a week, and there he, in the uh, nurse's office he sees this girl uh, sitting there, and then he, of course, goes to detention later on, and then that's where he meets up with uh, Maggie, who, again, he, he finds her weird and mysterious and uh, kind of wants to know more about her, and he starts kind of following her, and then uh, they meet up at the, they don't meet up, but he runs into her at the theater that's playing a horror marathon, all-night marathon. Um, he's there, of course, with his two friends, you know, the brace face and the other, you know, the guy friend. And um, she starts, you know, she sits with him, uh, Maggie sits with Ben, and she starts jerking in her seat and, you know, and she says, I'm hungry. And she goes to the bathroom, and then that's where we find out that Maggie is a zombie. And, uh, of course, this news comes to Ben, and he's, like, kind of fascinated with it and trying to figure out everything, like, uh, to know about Maggie. And, like, well, I don't remember anything, you know, pre-death. So she just came back up, and, like, the only thing I know is that uh, – Caffeine kicks, you know, caffeine and cigarettes like kills the pain, uh, in a sense. Um, and she's always hungry, so they kind of strike it off, and then that's where the film becomes a love story, with Ben and Maggie sort of in a kindred relationship, uh, dating back and forth, where he's trying to provide Maggie with food to survive um, her hunger cravings and not get in any trouble. And that's kind of hard to do because bodies start piling up, and it's not, you know, just like random nobodies. It's like uh, valedictorian, a few other, you know, main class uh, mates in the school. And um, then that's about the gist of the story. Um, It has its ups and downs, and it just goes on uh, where they're just dating for 70 minutes and um, she's eating people, and then they're introduced to a this uh, zombie hunter Dave, who's this uh, TV personality, this TV show, sort of like a Buffy, uh, where he goes around and fights mystical creatures. And uh, they come, you know, the actress and the actor come to town to sign autographs and do some kind of um, speech. And uh, basically, the town gets pissed off that people are dying from zombie attacks, and then they sort of rise up and want the zombie dead, and even though it's just one zombie. Um, yeah, it's a very, very simple movie, and there's not really much to go off on like we usually did uh, with uh, previous films, like, um, you know, like Welcome to Deer Creek or stuff like that. There's, you know, there's a lot of stuff to grab onto with those films, and, you know, you don't know what right. these, of course, you know, and as I said, you know, we, we go into it blind, and we usually watch it, you know, the day before, the day of, of the review, just to get it fresh in our memory, and this is one of those where I'm sitting there, and I was like, all right, this is almost over, and I'm only 30 minutes in, and like, holy shit, um, because this is a very slow movie. Um, I mean, I, I guess it's, it's just like, where, are, like, so much happened in that 30 minutes. Like, okay, well, Jesus, we're almost done here. And you see it, it's like 30 minutes, Jesus. And then it just kind of just keeps going and keeps going. And like I said, it's 70 minutes, and you'd wish it would do something. I mean, I know it's a, it's a love story, and it's it's sort of, in a way, it's a, it's a better film than Warm Bodies when that love story aspect. At least there's, like, some gore and some interesting, you know, stuff that happens with, like, uh, Maggie eating people, and there's gore and some fun things. Even though, like, I'm hungry, I gotta eat, and she twists their neck, you know, breaks their neck, and then she eats them. Like, how's that work? Well, whatever. She's just a zombie. She just came back to life, you know. Um, and she, of course, you know, like she's the decomposing as the film progresses. Each day in the film, um, you know, her face starts to uh, rot um, the best way possible. And I mean, it's. It's not a terrible movie. It's just you kind of wish for a little bit more. And I guess on a again on a shoestring budget, I mean it, you can do what you can do. 
for 2000, 2001. Right. Um, and again, it's not the terrible, you know, the worst zombie film I've ever seen. Um, it's 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 fine, um, but I did kind of expect a little bit more going into it than what I got out of it. And it, you know, in the end, it's like one of those where, like, oh yeah, that thing. You know, it's just you know, like I hate to do that because it is. It's so obscure, and I don't know how many copies of this actually exist. And just to see something like this, it's like so obscure, just to be, you know, again in the boneyard, <laughs> basically, um, just being, you know, scraps. And it's just like you wanted more out of it than what you. And then, you know, it's like Welcome to Deer Creek. You know, I, of course we're gonna bring that up. Or uh, post post mortem America. You know, it's like so so much went into post mortem. And just like the you know everything that happened to that, it's just it's amazing, you know. Um, and then Deer Creek on the the budget, and just like it's never been released, still hasn't been released. And just to know this one is just again, it's just one of those. It's just like very obscure, and just like again, it doesn't really try to do you know. There's no big elaborate thing like the other two, where it's like trying to be fun or anything. This is just like again, it's a love story. And I don't have a thing wrong with that. I mean, there's another one that you could pair this up with. Um, uh, what was it? My Dead Girlfriend, uh, who uh, oh, who directed that? Brett Kelly. Brett Kelly. Uh, good double feature if you wanted to do, you know, back-to-back guys dating zombies. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like there's really yeah. not much to say, Ian. Um, but what's your thoughts? And then we'll go back and forth. Um, I... Like I kept falling, uh, finding myself falling asleep at some parts because it has been a long day, and I was just like, oh "My God!" Like I felt like the movie could have been a little bit shorter because uh, there was just some pointless scenes that just dragged on and dragged on, and. Uh, I mean, I, there were some good moments, like uh, when she goes and kills that girl on the toilet, and the girl's like, are you the zombie that's eating everyone's brains? And she's like, yeah. And the girl goes, ugh. <laughs> just like, that is actually kind of funny. But there was, uh, I also, you know, like, I didn't hate it, but... I did, you know, think, uh, you know, there should have been more. Uh, With just like, I don't know, I was kind of hoping there was more with the whole monster hunters or something. Like, I just kept waiting for something to, like, kind of pick up a little bit and pick up the pace. And I was like... I felt like yeah, it was it keeps kind that of same you know, monotone. Just, yeah. It's it's very yeah, it's monotone just... throughout the whole film. There's no no big finale in a way. Um and again you think that like the monster the zombie hunter Hank or Dave or whatever his name was comes into play and like of course they're they're just actors, whatever. But um even though he was trying to have sex with a minor <laughs> that was kinda of, there's another but where's the we're getting these movies where like all these people are wanting to have sex with the underage girl. Um but then, yeah. no, um it's always interesting to see. Um but yeah, like they could have done something with that and then like the finale is like, Oh, she attacks the football team on game day and then people go after her and then she turns the boyfriend into a zombie and like, Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like, there's really no big payoff to anything. And except for, like, you know, I, I don't want to get to the end because there's really not much of an end. Um, it's just like, again, it's just like, okay, you're a zombie. I like that. Let's date. Um, the brace face girl, best friend, decides, oh, there's something wrong, and I kind of have feelings for Ben in a way, but I don't show it. Um, I'm going to – the zombie's up no good. Um, I'm going to follow it and try to kill it and – then the zombie, you know, Maggie attacks somebody, eats them, you know, like, oh, how dare you hurt that person. And then she attacks another person, eats them, attacks another person, eats them. Sort of a small, very minuscule breakup because, oh, you killed my best friend. Like, oh, whatever. Okay. 
and then oh, you're gonna eat another person. That's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. Oh, oh, my other friend's dead. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, just like there's really yeah. no big. Oh, you killed the whole you killed the whole football team. Yeah, that's fine. Just turn me into a zombie. I'll help you fight the townsfolk with uh, pitchforks and uh, uh, torches. And I was like, oh. Was the, and then that was the whole point with the dad, too. And like, oh, this is Mr. Winky, or whatever it was, the monkey. And I'm like, it's like, oh, just, mom's going to be coming back any time now. And then, like, oh, it's just whatever. There's just like, there's just like, there's like jokes and stuff in there. It's just it kind of fall flat. I mean, I know they're trying to go for it, but it's just like the humor just didn't really land because it's just that monotone. Just like, oh, God. Like I said, it's not a bad film. And then, again, we say that a lot, what could have been. Um, but I felt they needed to pick up the pace a little because it's just like, again, I don't mind a slow movie. I mean, we've watched slow movies before. It's actually pretty good. But this is the one where it's just like, it's just rinse and repeat. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm going to go attack this person. They attacked me. I'm going to attack this person. I love you. Let's let's do something. Oh, you, how dare you attack per- people and eat them and stuff like that. It's just like it was the same thing over and over. For 70 minutes, and like no, there was no big whoop de doo you know, no big finale. There was no big, you know, nothing to really pick up the pace besides again, Zombie Hunter Hank, and then that didn't last. And it's just like it was just nothing. <laughs> you know, I hate to say that because you love, I, I love, you know, it's like again, I want that Welcome to Deer Creek where it's just like just that low budget like where did this you know why doesn't this have a recognition you know why isn't this out there for people to see and uh this is one of those where it's like it it sucks (laughs) you know it's it's not it's not on that par you know it's not that it's a few tiers down where like i kind of want people to kind of see it but it's not really one of those to rush out and see i mean i'm glad to own it don't get me wrong i'm glad that ian got to see it because again we're probably a couple of few that's seen it um, because it's again not released since like 2002. I mean that's that's a long time, and there's like nothing on it online at all. I mean I don't even think you can find a trailer. Um, but like I said, the only thing I found was that uh, old IMDb page with two reviews, which are two reviews. It's the pull quotes on the DVD cover, and just the one random review. So we might be, you know, one of you know a handful. Of uh, people that seen the right. film, but um, it, I mean, it's cool to be on that list. But um, I don't know if it's a good list. <laughs> but nonetheless, I got <laughs> Uh Ian, what, what else you got to say, man? Well, you know, just whatever. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I mean, I also I kind of think if this if I would have watched this movie when it first came out. I think my reaction to it would be a little different, but you know, I, I it could just because we're, you know, watched so many movies and seen what you know you can do with a very small and limited budget. That's kind of, you know, made us start to realize like all the faults and flaws of all the of what we were watching, but. Yeah. I like the charm of the movie. I felt like it had a certain charm to it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it just... Just the overall experience, it just kind of left me unsatisfied. Yeah. Just like, I really... I mean, you could... You could watch it on Valentine's Day because it does have that romantic feel to it between... Even though it's... And it's just, it, it doesn't really have that oomph, you know, that you would want out of yeah. a romantic, you know, Valentine's Day movie. Like something like Spring from um, the directors yeah. who did uh, Resolution and The Endless and stuff like that. Like that one's just like full on like, yeah, I can see that being, you know, Valentine's Day movie. Um, this one, yeah. like, I mean, it's there with like, again, you know, weird, you know, weird people dating. You know, I can see it as a Valentine's Day movie. Um, but it's just like it's just not enough quirkiness, or just enough to you know like oh that was worth our time you know it's like after setting through you know it's just like again I don't want to degrade the film that off you know that down but um, you know it's just like you're just str- kind of a way to get you know struggling in a sense to get through it because like you said there like so much has happened 
They're like, oh, shit, I'm only 30 minutes in. And then, like, there's still that whole, <laughs> whole later act, the middle section, like, Jesus. I mean, it's a short watch, don't get me wrong, but it's a long one. Yeah, it feels... So I didn't mean to cut you out. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, I kind of lost track <laughs> before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I definitely would say watch, if you're going to watch this, you know, it, it wouldn't be too bad of a Valentine's Day movie. Pair it with, like, a My Boyfriend's Back or something. Going back into the, or yeah. like, early 90s. <laughs> but, yeah. Or I was I mean, a teenage zombie. zombie <laughs> yeah. Zombie romance movies are nothing new, but I just feel like there's not enough of them anymore. Like, I guess Warm Bodies is, like, the the only one I can think of that is the most recent. But this movie is 20 years old, so... Yeah. Like, I when I was watching it, I saw them use a pay phone and, like, an old, bulky phone because I didn't pay attention to what, time, uh, what year it came out in. So I looked it up, and I was like, oh, this is a 20-year-old movie. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah. Dang and it's crazy, yeah, again, uh, like, very obscure for 20. Again, it's one of those that's just, like, just gone. You know, it's just, we're again, one of the few that's seen it and can talk about it and discuss it. And I hate that we can't talk, to, like, in a better light or, you know, of the film. But it's just, yeah. like, again, as, as Ian mentioned, it's just, it's you know, the charm's there. I get the idea. But the, just the overall experience is just not really on a good one. Um and it's just like again, you kind of wanted more out of it, and you kind of you know you you appreciate what they're going for, and the the, the dynamic between Ben and Maggie, and the oh, yeah. ups and downs, David dating a zombie, and uh, stuff like that. So it has like, it's like things that like come into play. Like of course, like of course, we're, you know, as Ian mentioned, my boyfriend's back. Of uh, you know, like oh, you you have to eat people, you know. But this one actually does go into the point of like you have to eat people because it's very, it's it, it does have yeah. decent gore. You know, it's 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 for its time. Um, the gore is okay. It's nothing. You know, it's no Dead Alive or anything like that over the top <laughs> zany, zany gore. Um, but it's it it works for its budget. Um, of course, like seeing her like decompose as the film progresses is kind of funny. Um, you know, it's just interesting. So her eyes are getting darker, her cheek bones starting to protrude. And, uh, but yeah, like they, they could have done a little bit more, like maybe the whole, I guess they didn't really want to get into that whole necrophiliac thing, even though they did bring it up like, Oh, you're a necrophiliac, you know? Um, but like they could have played into that a little bit more. Like, I mean, it's just, I know it's just sex, but still like, you gotta under like they didn't really get into the point of like how she came back to be, even though I guess that's not really a point in general that needs to be discussed. It just happened um, because zombie. But um, I felt like they should have like kind of discussed that a little bit more instead of talking like, oh yeah, I just I'm hungry, I, you know, yeah. like just like just small talk there that kind of helps build, you know, the world of like the zombie, you know, the zombie. You like it was like how come like, the other zombies aren't coming back. You're like, oh, she just bit him, but broke his neck, but, like, she ate all the other ones and, de- you know, ripped them apart, but they're not coming back. So there's, like, a lot of things that kind of, like, if you look into it, it's like, oh, yeah, that kind of, you know, yeah. there's not a lot of sense to it. Um, but I guess, I don't know. It's it's fine. I mean, like I said, it's it's an okay watch. I'm glad to have it. And don't get me wrong, I, lo- I love having this in my collection. And I'll cherish this film because it's just like you have to because you don't know how many copies of this is existing in the world. So you have to hold on to it with a special special pride and care. And it's in a good home. Right. Don't get me wrong. It's like it's in the best home it could be in with all my other zombie films. But, um, yeah, there's just like not really much to it, sadly. And I, I kind of hated that. Even though, you know, that love of finding it is just like and getting it is just it's going to be there. I'm going to have that love to it. But the film itself is just like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's not going to be, you know, right. that Deer Creek where we watch it and like, holy shit, where did this come from? You know, and the, of course, post-mortem, uh, 2021. But, um, 
but Ian, any final thoughts on Dead Flesh? Um, only thing, like going back to what you were saying about how she, it didn't really get, it give us any information about her, like how she came back and stuff. I kind of thought that we were going to get that when she went to the corn dog place, and they found out that's where she was working before she died. And I was like, oh, we're going to get a little more into who she is. Nope, this was just completely pointless, other than the fact that she worked there. Like, that's all we know. And it was just to, mm-hmm. for a reference of a dream she had. And I was like, this is... I was like, this was a... That was, like, honestly, I was really let down by that. Because I was like, okay, so you're setting this whole thing up. Like, I was like, this whole thing could have just not been in here, and it would have been a shorter movie. And we would have lost nothing to the story other than knowing she worked at a corn dog place. Not how she became a zombie or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, come on now. Give us something. Give us a little more. Yeah. I mean, I guess, again, it's just one of those projects that, you know, Scott, I best, you know, just got a bunch of people. I'm like, hey, let's do this. I'm sure it's a, it was a fun yeah. experience if I listen to I the can... commentary. I'm sure he's going to, like, talk about all the, you know, ups and downs and everything. He had tribulations of it, and some of the things probably that we talked about on that, you know, one of the two commentary tracks. Um, But I just don't know if I had the time to listen to both of them. I don't really (laughs) plan on doing that. Um, But, yeah, again, (laughs) you brought up, like, again, I brought up the zombies. Like, there is more zombies, and it's at the very end, but it doesn't really add, you know, overall substance to the story until, like, too far too late. Right. But, um, Ian, I know you're saying something else. Oh, no. I'm. That was pretty much it. I think I'm. All right. Yeah, I don't think there's, I have anything there's not else much left to uh, the discuss on this one. I think we pretty much gnawed it to the bone. But, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do have, for those listening, and if you are interested, message the Horror Not Oasis Facebook page. I will provide you a way to watch it if you're interested. Um, as I did Ian, um, I don't care to do that, um, just to get more eyes on the, uh, the film, just to, you know, take your own opinion out of it. I mean, it's, it is, it's a film that we, everyone has their own opinion of things. Um, again, I, I appreciate it for what it's trying to accomplish. And, the again, as Ian said, it's 20 years old. So we've seen a lot of films since then. Um, and this is, you know, of course we go back and see things differently in a different time. And um, maybe in another couple years I'll revisit it and just see if it does anything differently. Um, but at the moment, it's it's fine for what it is. It's uh, yeah. just very, you know, sincere little passion project from Scott Miles and some people. Or, you know, in that time period, like, hey, you know, because it's like, again, 2000, 2001, hey, let's get some friends together, let's make a zombie movie, you know. Let's, but let's do... Let's do something like again. My boyfriend's back, but let's do it with the chick and let's you know have some fun. There's another one, sort of not like this, but it came around the same t- period called Bad Friend. It's a zombie film. It's about a um, like a slacker dude, and he orders a mail order zombie, and like it's it's a very odd film. It's on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube. Um, but the the DVD is like the extended cut. It has like a bunch of other scenes. It's not on that version. Um, but it's still a decent little movie. It's weird too. It's just like a lot of the humor falls flat in that one. Um, Bad Friend. I think it's like from two thousand three, two thousand four. Um, it's a tough one to find too, but it's on YouTube. But um, it's just like in that time period, like let's get a bunch of people together and make this, you know, little heartfelt movie and you know have some fun, poke some, you know, laugh yeah. at a few things. That's what you can see it. There's heart and there's there's you know passion. Oh, there's a lot of projects in this movie. And um, you can see it and. Um, even like again, like all the posters and the T-shirts that they're wearing, um, just a lot of like. Fun. Even again, the main character's name is Ben, Ben from Not a Living Dead. So it's like again, there's a lot of stuff in there and like horror, you know, like, like zombie fishing and all that. So they, you know, they don't put too much there, but it's just not a subtle enough. But nonetheless, that's going to do it for this episode of the Boneyard with Dead Flesh. Um, Ian, next time we're, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm going to let you pick. Because there's still a ton more behind me of uh, films that I'm, I have no idea where they came from, 
but they're just out there. <laughs> Maybe in August. Yeah. There's one there's in August. Let's see, Woodstock's in August, right? Where it, used, used, it was, right? So I got one that would be good around August that we could do. Yeah. Um, I think I already showed you that one, but uh, that would be a fun one. Um, we'll see how that one turns out. But nonetheless, Ian, as always, it's great talking with you. I'm glad we got to watch this one, and uh, I don't have to hold on to it for a year and a half like I did post <laughs> post mortem America 2021. <laughs> um, we got oh this gosh. one done. You know, I got it in, got to watch within uh, a month, so we're good. But uh, nonetheless, Ian, as always, it's great, and I want to thank everyone for listening through this uh, rather tiring show. Um, we're both kind of out of it. It's been long days, and you know, subsiding oh, yeah. injuries, you know, beside of that. Um, it's always fun to do it. And, of course, again, losing shows, we're kind of down and out with that. But um, we're still here. We're still going to pump these out as best as we can, even though it's not going to be our usual output like we did last year. But uh, we're going to try. We're going to try our damnedest. But, Ian, as always, I will talk to you next time, sir. Thanks, everyone, for listening, and we'll see you next time on Horror Not Oasis. Good night. <laughs>